We'll let the recruiting decisions begin. One really good triad high school football player is deciding where he wants to play at the next level. And he might be staying here in Greensboro. WFMY News 2's Amanda Ferguson is breaking down his list. When you're a five-star recruit like Grimsley defensive tackle Travis Shaw, you can choose where you're going to play in college. For Travis, he's narrowed it down to four schools, North Carolina, Clemson, Georgia, and North Carolina A&T. I'll come from a kid from Greensboro, North Carolina, so you know, you know, you just got to pick a and The Grimsley rising senior, defensive tackle Travis Shaw, could be an Aggie. Travis Shaw in the backfield. They're homeschooled, and also, you know, they're HBCU. You know, I think sometimes people overlook the HBCUs and things like that. So even though you're one-star, two-star, three-star, four-star, five-star, whatever, you know, it don't matter where you play it. Uh, you, you, can, you can make a name for yourself anywhere. Those aren't the only reasons North Carolina A&T is on his list. The program has a winning culture. Uh, they, they get things done on the field. I think it's just the vibe of just a &T, you know, just the way how they carry themselves. Travis says recruiting is crazy. About 35 schools trying to get him. His phone constantly lighting up. It's really that crazy, you know. Um, the calls, you know, I get six o'clock text messages, you know. Six o'clock text messages, and they don't stop to, they don't stop to about, about 10, 11 at night, so it's just constantly. And it's from different coaches. But after cutting it down to four schools, Travis says he and his family are ready to figure out what's best for his future. Focus on the main goal, the main reason. That's, you know, coming down to the one to one school. So, you know, we got great, we got, we got four great schools on the list. Can't go wrong with either one. This is a special, it's a blessing for sure. I have an idea of where you guys would like him to go. <laughs> Maybe honestly, and I would have, yes. honestly I, I might have to side with his family members who I'm sure are hoping he'll stay close to home. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's it that's all it's all what's best for him because for diff sure. different schools have different situations and it may not be best for him. Well we have home. some we have two North yes. Carolina options, so there either of those would be really great for him. So he it was thirty five schools that he had to choose from. I'm he, sure he actually told me he said I think thirty five, I lost count. Wow. Right. So I I wonder what his process was like yeah, to eliminate. narrow it down yep. to those four schools. Well, he was saying that now he can fine tune it. So he okay. picked the four and now hold him and his family will go through and see what's the best for his life. Well, Later most on. of them, most of those decisions come to, he looks to see, do they have superstars already in that yeah. position? Then he's like, you know, maybe you want to be that guy. Hmm. But he's got a lot of time to decide. He says yeah. he's not deciding until January. Oh, okay. He has plenty of time. I like when he Maybe said he sooner. had coaches like texting him until 10 at night. <laughs> Can you <laughs> imagine? No. <laughs> Being a high school kid and yeah. getting all these <laughs> offers. and. He seems so smart yeah. too. He's very well spoken. Very. Put together. His yeah. family must be really proud. Yes, absolutely.